Hi, I'm back again with a new video course reference entitled Building Modern Java Web Application with Spring Boot 2.2. I'm Sherwin Jantragura, the author of Spring MVC Blueprint, Spring 5 Cookbook, and Jakarta EE8 Recipes, ready to provide you some background on Spring Framework 5.2 and how to implement its applications using Spring Boot 2.2. Now, this whole video course covers seven major topics. Chapter 1 will be about configuring and setting up our development environment and will also be about preparing the baseline portion of our application by implementing the web controllers, URL mappers, request parameter binders, and some form handling transactions needed by our application. Not only that, this includes also implementing RESTful web services. This will be covering how to implement RESTful web services using Apache CXF and Spring's REST controller. We will also be emphasizing how Spring Boot 2.2 platform supports the JAX RS 2.1 specification through its Jersey Spring Boot Starter module. Now, aside from the relational database approach, we will be learning how to perform data persistency using MongoDB NoSQL data source. Advanced topics such as using Query DSL predicates, Spring Data REST, and Spring Hatios will also be covered. This next chapter will be about securing the application the easiest and fastest way using the Spring Boot 2.2 security module. As we proceed adding more components and business processes to our farm harvest management application, it gets huge, making it difficult to manage, monitor, and enhance some of its features for future innovation. It gets difficult also to decentralize all of its business processes in order for us to capture the logs and audit trails of each of its services. That is why we have this chapter to guide us on how to decouple all of its business processes using the microservice design pattern some parts of this video course will provide us how to implement reactive applications using Spring Webflux and Reactor Project. And the latter part will provide us some details on how to implement and deploy microservices implemented using Spring Boot 2.2. To get some expectation for the audience, this video course will be easy to start and all the project modules will be easy to adopt. If the audience has an experience programming in Java, must know about Java EE8 framework, particularly servlets and JSP components, must have been involved in any MVC application development, maybe it in C Sharp or Spring, must have known Spring Framework 4 or preferably Spring 5, and lastly must know how to implement simple RESTful web service either using Jersey or Apache CXF. All codes and project modules will be compiled using Java 12. They will be deployed and run using Apache Tomcat 9. On the other hand, all the reactive features will be executed using Netty TCP server. The IDE will be Spring Tools Suite version 4, and our build management system tool will be at least Gradle 5.5. Now, all installation and execution will be done on Windows 10 running on Intel Core i7 hardware with at least 4 gig of RAM. All concept details and information in this video course will be applied to build an online farm harvest management system, so expect some features related to managing farm products with some e-commerce features like online marketing and selling with some inventory and pricing transactions. At the end of this video course, the audience must not only know the underlying Spring Framework 5.2, but also be confident on how to implement its Spring MVC as well as the reactive components or applications. They must also know how to integrate and implement data model layer, either using SQL or NoSQL data store. They must also learn how to integrate Spring Cloud modules needed for their applications, and lastly, they must know how to implement and deploy microservices implemented using Spring Boot 2.2.